Capitalism. The manipulation in capitalism, part two. All right? In my last video, I was talking about, you know, four things that are, you know, major flaws in the capitalism, the capitalistic economic system, you know, and I'll basically continue that in this video. So, uh, for example, um, you know, a homeless person, right? The four thing, the four things were homeless people, panhandlers, bank robbers, and rich kids. And uh, the fifth thing is gonna be uh, like you know an average Joe or like someone that works a nine to five, right? So those are be the five things. Right now I'm gonna tackle uh, you know the homeless person. So you know homeless people. You know, people often blame the homeless people. Well, they're just lazy. They're just lazy. All right? You know, they they need to get off their ass and, you know, get a job or whatever. But, you know, people seldom look at the system in which creates the homeless person. You see, if a government has homeless people if a government and technological advance that in a society in that which throws away 40 billion pounds of food every day and has you know the resources to you know build houses pretty much ad infinitum you know and there are still homeless people. It's almost like the Epicurean paradox, you know, that which states, you know, if there is an omnipotent, omniscient, omnibenevolent God, then evil would not exist. But evil does exist, you know, so that means either a God exists in which that is a malevolent immoral thug asshole or that a god doesn't exist so it's almost like you can take that same concept and apply to a government right you know because the government they 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 obviously have the you know the power or in you know the omnipotence not specifically omnipotence but you know they have definitely have the power to abolish world not just national but world world poverty world hunger you know they can abolish these things and it wouldn't it wouldn't harm them it wouldn't affect them in any negative way so if they these people have the power to do these things and that is basically their job that it's with their they basically made a pledge to do right you know to serve its citizens right and they fail to do this even though they have the power then that would make them immoral thugs that would make them you know malevolent you know that would that would make them greedy corrupt assholes basically in a sense you know so you know think about that you know next time you see a homeless person but the next point is bank robbers or thieves you know of any sort so if a bank robber, if a person can rob a bank, get money from the bank, potentially get away with the bank robbery and live the life of a live the life that is that can equate to the life of a quote unquote successful person or a capitalistically successful person in this society, which is a person that has a lot of money, 
then wouldn't the people perpetuating capitalism be giving consciously giving power to criminals they would be giving power to people that are immoral they would be giving power to people you know that harm other people that do things that are in which are immoral because if you can just steal money then and still live a successful life then you know that whole that whole myth of you know hard work pays off and hard work equals success that kind of goes out of the window you know if a person can just you know hit the lottery or you know walk and see find a bag of money a bag of uh, let's say drug money on the side of the road unclaimed and they can just pick it up and there's 10 million dollars inside of that bag and they can go on and live a successful life then that that whole concept of hard work equal success kind of goes out of the window you know if this person you know that goes back to the panhandler thing you know what does a panhandler contribute to society they don't contribute anything they're just begging for money and so that points to the objective of capitalism is not to be a productive member of society it's to gain capital. It's to get money by any means. That means you can kill for money, steal for money, sell humans for money, you know, manipulate people for money, lie for money, cheat for money, you know, any pretty much do anything that's immoral for money. And capitalist capitalism praises that. Capitalism encourages these behaviors, these immoral acts. So, you know. They're not doing any, so you can do something that's not productive to society and still gain capital. You know, and some, a lot of the aspects more than the quote unquote hard work. So, you know, and the hard work myth, that's just, you know, so patently bullshit. It's just obviously bullshit because, you know, what about? People in Africa or people in, you know, the developing countries in which they work hard every day, harder than any person in America, for, for example. You know, these people, they can barely even, you know, get food or clean water. So, you know, I like to say if, if hard work equaled wealth, equaled success, then everybody in you know Africa or everybody in developing countries would be trillionaires because they work hard as fuck but you know it's like what about the slaves what about slaves these people worked hard as fuck they didn't get any wealth they didn't get any you know they, they got nothing they lived their entire lives as slaves and then they died. Where's their wealth? Where's their, you know, successful life? That was the foundation of America, slavery. You know? See, it's not, it's not about whether you're being a productive member or you're contributing to society in a positive way. Because if you really think about it, no one is. It's all about manipulation. You manipulate, you think you're doing, you know, being a contributing member of society. No, you're just manipulating your boss. You think you're manipulating your boss because in actuality, you don't care about your job. You're just doing it exclusively for the money. Doing it, you're doing it purely for the money. You don't care about your job. You're trying to manipulate, you think you're getting over on your boss by manipulating him, manipulating him thinking you know i'm a good employee i really care about the welfare of this business i really care about the welfare of this company when really you fucking don't you do it for the paycheck because if you can just take a a, a coin and scratch off a lottery ticket and win you'd quit your job 
and you probably curse out your boss. So stop with this bullshit like you care about your work and, and your career. No, you're just doing that because, you know, for some ulterior motive. You know, so you can you can cut the crap, cut the bullshit. You know? I, I see too many people that are just, you know, just not just unexcited unsatisfied with you know with their jobs and things of that nature and they say they just do it for the paycheck so that obviously defeats that whole premise that you know it's about being a productive member of society no it's just about the money a person could you know do like I said do immoral acts to obtain this money you know so that defeats that premise It's almost like the entire society is perpetuated and fueled by lies, right? It's like, what about, what about the people? You think that the, the basis of life, the way of life is just to work for a corporation, and, and didn't die, pay bills and didn't die, but what about the people that run these corporations? What about the people in power? How did they get in power? Is that a fair way? Does your vote count? You know, but who put these people in power? Is it just some belief that the government has a divine right to authority over people you know is it you know yeah you need to question these things you know you know people need to be more critical thinkers people need need to be critical thinkers by these about any about everything question everything but yeah it's like capitalism it, it's almost like the the stereotypical you know, working nine to five for 40 years, I mean, that's bullshit. It's like, that's the worst the way, that's the worst position to be in in capitalism besides uh, homelessness. See, that's the, that's the capital, it, it's run by fear mongering, manipulation, lies, these sorts of things. All to keep people in, in a box to where they're easily controlled. You know, fluoridated water, you know, unhealthy foods, unhealthy junk foods, a lack of lack of um, access to fresh foods, fresh produce in uh, impoverished uh, areas. You know. These things, you can't look at th these things and think that they're just haphazard, like like it's just a coincidence. You know, most of these things are, most if not all of these things, these systems are, put, are um, purposely and intentionally put in place to produce a, a desired outcome, a pervert to produce a preferred result by the quote-unquote ruling class or government or big corporations or people that have the quote-unquote authority over everybody, the citizens and such. So, yeah. Be a critical thinker. Think for yourself. Be autodidactic. Be a, be a self-taught person. Don't rely on, you know, the false information that is given to you by the system in which is trying to enslave you in the first place. It's common sense, but uh, I guess it's not really common sense because it's pretty rare. <laughs>